Welcome to this section of your iMovie tutorial, which is going to be my favorite, and I hope it'll be your favorite, where we're going to demonstrate the power and flexibility of iMovie, the application. Now, before we start, let's uh, review just a second here uh, of what we've done. We were still building our timeline, but what we're going to do now is something pretty fun. We are going to use the content built within iMovie application, which is on the iMovie application that ships with every Mac. And here we're using version 10.0.9, and you know how why that's important to know. So we have our content library, and uh, here's our libraries up here, but let's review for a second. I haven't really talked about the photos library, which is really uh, not going to be of much use to us because we are assuming that you're using the lab computers, but you could, if this was your personal computer, you could store your photos in this library and you could you could use them at will. Uh, another one that we aren't going to really have use for because we're using the lab computers is iTunes. Because it's another library for storing your songs, basically, and it will not be populated on lab computers because every time you log off, as you know, your work is lost. And GarageBand is a separate application uh, for sound design. It's for musicians, basically. But it, it does play a role in iMovie. Uh, you know, you could get pretty advanced with this. We're not even going to talk about this uh, at that point. So here we go. We're looking at our events up here. And as we know, uh, here they are. We only have three. They're in our library, Fun at the Lake. Here's our projects. We only have one. That's going to change in just a second. And we're going to see another one up here. And here is our entire iMovie library, which is currently residing on your external hard drive. Okay, well, let's just dive right in. In this case, I'm going to put a new project in the Fun at the Lake. And uh, I, we'll just go ahead and make a new one. How do we do that? It's called, um, it's called Movie in iMovie. They... It, <laughs> So movie, project, and timeline, they're all interchangeable. And so here we go, and it's going to ask us, what do we want to, uh, which one of these? These are all trailers that come with pre-installed music and all. I'll play with that later, but, uh, but right now, no theme. So we're going to create that and call it, uh, we'll call this uh, uh, content, content movie. And uh, we're going to, uh, put this in the event lake video, but we could put it in any one of these. It, it doesn't really matter. Let's put it in stills just for, for kicks. So there we go. And now uh, we have one in stills, and it is currently open, and here, here it is. Uh, there's nothing in there, and here's our timeline. It's blank. So here we go. We are going to create this movie entirely from the content of iMovie. So here we go. The first thing we need is some some media here, some video. So we're going to go in the maps and backgrounds, and there we go. We haven't talked about the maps, so we're going to we're going to talk about that right now. Uh, but let's put some backgrounds on here. Uh, let's just do uh, let's do three here, random. Here's some curtains. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's four seconds, and let's let's zoom out of our, our timeline for a second here. Uh, and let's put some stars. I don't know, and some retro. There we go. And so uh, these are dissimilar clips. That's why we had the black bar. I'm going to play through that so you can see see what it is. Okay, great. Uh, that, so that's our background. Uh, let's do. Let's talk about these maps. Now we haven't talked about these, but these are uber cool, and you'll definitely want to use this in your project somewhere. But these are generators, and they are animated. So let's just try this, uh, uh, I don't know, this one right here. Uh, it's going to go from point A to point B. Now that doesn't make any sense right now, but I'm going to put this right here in the middle. So let's play through and see what that looks like. There we have that. So I'm going to click that, uh, double click it really, to bring up to bring up the controls of this, of this animated clip. So all this is going to do is get you from point A to point B. Okay, so uh, we can change this one if we wanted to. Point A. Let's let's. Uh, I just happen to know that uh, uh, Atlanta is up here, so I'm going to search for Atlanta, and it gives me a couple of things. Let's just do Atlanta, but uh, and we'll just uh, we'll, we'll call the first point Atlanta, 
And the second point, um, well, let's let's pick something that we know is going to be up there. Uh, how about London? Okay, so we have lots of choices in London. Uh, let's go to Big Ben. <laughs> but let's don't call it Big Ben. Let's call it um, uh, uh, over there. <laughs> Just for kicks. Okay, there we go. So watch what happens when we play this through. I'm going to put it back in the beginning. And it's going to literally go from Atlanta to over there. <laughs> okay, you will definitely want to incorporate that. Those are those are fun. These are just like any other clip. Okay, you can shorten them. They'll make them faster. You can lengthen them. They'll make them slower, and you know that sort of thing. Uh, you can also pick them up and move them anywhere you want. You can put effects on them. You know, just like any of the other clips that uh, that that we've done. Uh, you know, flipped. <laughs> Out of back where there, I don't know, heat wave. You know, everything that you can do with a clip that we've discussed, you can do with this. Okay, great. So I'm going to put this right back here in my timeline. You can put a title. Uh, so we, we know about the titles. Uh, and put this here and, uh, you know, uh, world. Uh, there we go. Just click this down here. Uh, you can also put this title right in the front if you wanted to. So, you know, we can and then fade up. It'll just fade up in there. Very cool. Uh, put a, you can also do Command C and copy or, or go up here, uh, you know, copy like, like we've, we've done this before and then paste uh, up here, which is Command V. I'm just going to use a shortcut here and uh, put that up there. And then, you know, we split that because that's just, that's one of the things you don't have control over. It's, you know, you, it's just going to insert it. So uh, there we go. Uh, so, so that sort of thing. And you can copy and paste these two. Command C. And let's put the playhead down here. Command V. There it is. And that's true across the board. Very flexible. Very powerful. And uh, now audio, you can, we have all these sound effects. We can put that in there. Sound effects are not just sound effects. So look what it brings up. This is built into the application iMovie. Uh, you've got all of these different types of, uh, of audio. Uh, if you go into like jingles, that, that's got some uh, music. Uh, it tells you the duration here. Uh, we can play that. And how would you do that? The same way, you know, you just... Uh, put it down here and uh, you know yeah so see how cool that is very 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 cool uh, just like any other clip uh, you can you know here we can stack these you know if we wanted to uh, you know or put that uh, like that you know and of course I uh, remember the spike it's associated with with this clip so there you go uh, you know so if we if we move this title around that's going with it if we put it in the background lane, it's not, uh, which you can just drag down there. I want to talk about something that's really, really cool, is your ability to take a still picture of anything you can see on your computer. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to drag over my, my, this is, I've already got this open, but it's got a nice icon here of the iMovie library. And here it is, by the way, which is in my external uh, drive. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use Command, Shift, and 4. And watch what happens when I press. I've got Command, Shift down. Now when I press 4 at the same time, watch this cursor. Uh, there we go. It changes into that plus sign. So I'm going to make a, uh, I'm just uh, highlight. I'm, I'm still dragging. I haven't let up on the mouse. Uh, I press the space bar. Now I can move that around anywhere I want. Uh, so let's just take this and uh, I'm going to, you know, kind of get it like that. And then I'm going to let up and it made a screenshot. Okay, let's get this out of the way. And I'm going to, I'm going to uh, not drag the screenshot into my movie because what would it do? Yeah, I'm just going to copy it in there. But I'm going to fly it up by pressing the space bar. And uh, so there, there's the screenshot I made. Very, very, very powerful because you literally everything you can see on the computer, you can do this. Now when I drag it in here, Look, it just dragged it right in the project, and uh, there we go. So we have we have that. Uh, <laughs> with that, that's very very cool. Um, there we go. And then one final thing that I'm gonna uh, mention before before I leave you is uh, you can add uh, your own narrative in here. Uh, how how would you do that? Well, we haven't talked about this, but here's this tool called the voiceover tool. 
Now I'm going to give you the good news and the bad news. First of all, we're going to or we're just demonstrate this. I'm going to just toggle this uh, on and off, and you can see that it is indeed registering that I'm getting audio through the iMac uh, built-in microphone, and it has a built-in camera too, as we know we've seen before. So I'm going to go ahead and press record, and I'm going to put this playback bar right here because I know that there's a ramp up and you will see it. This is built in. So here we go. Let's press record. Okay. And now it's recording and it's recording down here and stop. So look, and that's, I just made an audio clip. So here we go. Uh, we can play this back and let's do that just for Okay, and now it's you know, recording. See, now you can. Uh, recording down. Okay, and, and this is just like any other clip in that you import. So that was the good news, and the bad news is this is the only tool that I have found that does not work with your external drive. It works with my external drive because it is a RAID. It is a completely different kind of drive than, than you have. It's made for video, and somehow I maybe recognizes that as the internal. A hard drive of the computer and it will record to a RAID, it will record to the local hard drive which is of course the hard drive that iMovie resides on the application. But it won't do your external drive. Okay so what's the workaround? <laughs> okay this is an example of the flexibility that we uh, learn is built into iMovie and you already know uh, if you think about this for a minute you can already figure this out the clue is that yes, it will record the voiceover to the internal hard drive on the computer. Now on the lab computer we know we can't keep our uh, iMovie library because it'll disappear and your voiceover will disappear too. But here's what we could do. We already know there is a default iMovie library when you opened up iMovie uh, created and it was placed on the hard drive of this computer, the lab computer. So here we go. We're going to open up the library and we're going to, it's just the iMovie library. Event is already, there's always an event associated with the library, always. So we're going to do new and we're going to movie. We're just going to, uh, we can call it anything we want. Uh, we're definitely going to take no theme, create. Uh, we'll just call it uh, for anything. And uh, okay. And there we go. Uh, we, we know we have content right in iMovie. So we're just going to put that down there and uh, we're going to make that, you know, pretty long, I guess. Um, I'll go ahead and zoom in because, you know, the voiceover could take, be a few minutes. There's 24 seconds right there. So we're going to put the playhead where we want it. And at this, this point, we're going to put it at the beginning. We're going to go ahead and do the voiceover. And this is a voiceover using the internal hard drive of the lab computer that has an iMovie library created by default. Okay, great. There it is. So we're going to go up here and uh, we're going to see uh, that there it is indeed. And by the way, this blank spot is the ramp up. <laughs> okay. So it's telling us this is the clip. So what are we going to do? We're going to just literally grab this and uh, put it right in, uh, you know, put it in our lake stills, for instance. And there it is. Uh, this is the clip, and you can tell because I'm going to click here and go in your inter information, and there it is. Uh, voice VO-1 for voiceover, and that that is it. And that's a really good workaround. Now, you don't have to really worry about deleting anything off this default iMovie library because it's going to be deleted as soon as you log off. Okay, and that's just part of the flexibility of iMovie. This It does many more things, but uh, for now, that'll, that'll get you pretty far.